So um, I was a very average collegiate wrestler in the States. Uh, that's what was my original sport growing up, was in combat sports. I found my way transitioning into predominantly strongman, but strongman, weightlifting, powerlifting, Highland games. I did that for just about a decade. Um, found a lot of success there um, with a few world championship wins and a few world records. Um, and then years after that, I kind of put that aside and parked it and I transitioned to bobsledding. A standing overarching theme for me was always sport first because it has a time that, that one has a, an expiry date that comes before the others. You can work and study for the rest of your life. That being said, that doesn't mean that sport always stands front and center. Knowing what you actually want to accomplish and then identifying where your kind of gaps are to accomplish that. And then trying to strategize, okay, well then, how do I change my priorities from time to time to focus on one or the other to allow one to see some progress while I put one or the others on a bit of a back burner? I'd be really looking for what are smaller bite-sized opportunities. I, I can totally appreciate and respect, you know, the big things like, you know, I want to get my university degree, I want to get my master's, continuing education, and, and those are fantastic and I absolutely think they're worthwhile. I just wouldn't want anybody to feel like it's this big daunting task that they have to get done um, and that's the only thing that's going to help me. No, there's a ton of ways to, to advance yourself and progress academically or for your career without you know, committing to three or four years at a time. You can actually progress in other areas while still achieving your athletic goals. Um, so yeah, by nature I'd probably default towards no, sport only, sport all the time, full commitment. But full commitment doesn't mean every waking moment of your day. Um, and if you think it is, I'd probably challenge you then to say, okay, well then how can you use those moments that you're thinking about every single day to tie into your career aspirations or to tie into your, your education? How can you marry the two up? Because if all you think about is sport, well, hey, <laughs> this building is filled with people who work in sport, who have sport-related degrees. What are we doing? How can we help?